Hello everybody, welcome to Crashlands. Crashlands is an outlandish story-driven action adventure set in the world of hidden magic and high technology. Tame and milk alien beasts, craft resources into menacing weaponry, befriend the locals, and go toe to chin with a maniac. All in the name of on-time delivery. This game is going to be coming out on uh, January 19th or 20th. I believe the 20th. It's coming to Steam. Uh, you can check it out in the description below. I'll have a link to both the Steam page and the developer's website. And I've been excited for this. No, I'm wrong. It's the 21st. It's the 21st. I just remembered. Sorry. <laughs> I just remembered when it's coming out. We're going to be doing a, a good sized series on it. I've been watching other people play. Unfortunately, uh, when the embargo was lifted due to uh, another Let's Player publishing the content too early, it kind of screwed over my plans because I was out of town at that time. So I was hoping I could be one of the first people to play this, but I guess now is uh, better late than never. We're going to jump right in. That's enough faffing about. I love the concept art for this game. I've been following it since probably last summer. I've been keeping an eye on it. Bureau of Shipping. Ship, uh, shipment Shipping Ship B-S-S-S-S-S. That is an awesome name. Transporter, Flux Daves, Supervisor, Pallet Units, 42A Juice Box. Uh, the... Okay. The co comparison I've seen quite a few times, if people have been comparing this to like a uh, sci-fi Don't Starve, and I could see that just based off the art style, um, but there are quite a few differences. It's more story based, uh, some of the gameplay elements are similar, uh, there's more base building options, we'll go into that more, huh? USB port my sets. Oh, I I messed up. I didn't hear it. My bad. Okay. Hey, did I hear laughing? You've got packages to deliver. Laughing impedes productivity. No, sir. Flux was choking. Okay, so we are going to play as little purple yellow dude here. I think it's just like a... I don't know if it's a human in a suit. It's definitely someone in a suit. I don't believe it's a robot. Sounds like a titler. Nope, she's totally choking. Oh, see, so he was choking when I kept 5% from your pension. Was there something you needed, sir? I need to status reporting your package delivery. Two weeks till we arrive, everything is on schedule. Good, and remember those packages can't have a scratch on them. This isn't our first rodeo, sir. He actually looks like a juice box, that's funny. Well, harga garga, harga harga blarg. <laughs> that's closest it's gonna get. Something just popped in a war bubble and we've stopped moving engines, must be dead. That shouldn't even be possible. Let's get the engines restarted, slap the control panel on your left. Alright, so WASD, oops. Oh, that's floor mode. Okay. Yeah, so hey, move. For some reason, I thought it was WASD. That's actually how you choose these things. A-S-D-F. Um, but you click around, basic movement, so you can set one destination far away, and he'll try to go to it like right now he can't. So we're going to go over. We're going to slap that. That didn't do anything. Did you make sure it's plugged in? Okay, this is Hugo Dooku. Well, hello there, space travelers. Welcome to the planet. Wunape. I probably said that wrong. Oh, God, what are you? I'm Hugo Duku. You can call me Hugo Duku because, as I said, my name is Hugo Duku. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Hugo du Duku. Hugo Duku. Sorry to pull your little space truck out of space world like that, but I need a quick space favor. We're on a pretty tight schedule, floaty head guy. Um, I'm working on a little science project, but I need a quantum electro dongle. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? We do, but as part of a ship, removing it would cause the ship to explode. So exploding ship would cause the electric dongle to be removed. That logic, che <laughs> that logic checks out. Great. Uh oh. Is our ship gonna blow? Oh, you jerk! Not the B S S S S S S B S S S S B S S S S S. So he's scrapping our ship. Remind me to replace your judge of character chip. No time for finger pointing. We'll visit this labor to the escape pod. First things. First, save the packages. Your pension won't be worth anything without them. Let's see, we smack that thing. It doesn't do anything. All right, let's get out of here. Who's that guy? I don't know who he is. We gotta save the packages. One down, two to go. Just let me open these doors here. Beep, boop, beep. These electric shocks look deadly. Be careful. All right. Oh, nice. He turned into a little pallet to carry things on. We can't go that way, can we? Now we gotta go down here. Make your way back after you get the package. All right. Sounds good. I do like how the floor is kind of see-through. Ow. Okay, yeah, let's go get that. One left, head to the upper room, grab the space wrench, hit those shocking barricades until they explode. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, now I'm learning the timing of them. Okay, how do I pick that up? Okay, we got this. We can equip it now, grab the space wrench, rack the barricade, we need the final package. Okay, well, once it stops. 
Oh, no, don't go in there. Whew. Okay, now we can go. Go, go, go. Oh, we can step on that part. Okay. Done. Now let's get back to the escape out of the back of the ship before this whole thing goes boom. Oh, now you open these doors. Why'd you wait so long? The space dark pies in the side rooms. Flux, we don't have time for that. There's always time for pies. Space dark pies can heal my wounds. They're delicious. The less dark feelings you get more grabbing those pies. We gotta go. Ah. Okay, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Let's go get those pies. What an oddly empty ship. Wait, what are these things here? Are those the escape pods? Oh no, those are just more pies. Okay. Grab those pies. Okay, and go. Break it. Smack it. Smack it, smack it, smack it. Oh yeah, escape pod right here. I'll need you to hold my wrench juice box. We'll be coming in hot. I gave one space wrench to juice box. What is that little robot dude? Can I save him? Oh, I stepped on him. Oops. Sorry, buddy. All right. Jump to the escape pod. The B S S S S S. That was quite the explosion. Oh man. All right, now we're headed down to this mysterious world. Crash lands. Oh my God, that's like the name of the game. Uh. Hmm. I need to get some more water. All this talking's really killing me. Okay, logging into B Scotch. Oh yeah, Butterscotch Shenanigans. That's the name of the developer. They have a funny name. What a majestic landing flux. <laughs> I think I used up a kidney on the dismount. Well, you've still got one left. Let's finish this delivery. What about the alien maniac that could just blew up the ship? Oh, we just need to contact the Bureau of Shipping so they can send a space rescue space truck before he shows up again. <laughs> a space rescue space truck. Not just a rescue space truck or a space rescue truck. A space rescue space truck. All right. So, we'll need to build an advanced comm device. With six and flowers, I guess just to get a base of operation started, this will take some doing. What did I just do? Did I just, is that just a bug or something? I'll deploy the survival station just south of the escape pod. Why don't you make some floors out of the sawgrass, throw some blades in the survival station to build them. Alright. New story, crafty contact. Let's take a look over here. So we have Q. We'll open up our quest, chat log, adventure stats. There we go. Oh, okay, so it actually saves what he says, so I can always look back. Excellent. Uh, R, open up, uh, looks like player inventory, defensive stats, offensive staffs, uh, player, uh, stats. <laughs> Poke and uh, equipment slot to see the available items for that slot. There we go, yeah, we got our pies. Space duck pie, although mostly inedible, you, if you mix space duck up with actual food, it tastes fantastic. Restores 162 HP. What an odd number. W, we'll uh, build bo uh, floor mode. E, will show us the map, which is not a lot. Okay, we have A there, we have S, you are already at full health, D and F. Yeah, so those things kind of like the 1, 2, and 3. And we can open up the main menu there. I keep trying to move a WSD. Gotta stop doing that. So how can we uh, harvest this stuff? Okay. So we just gotta break it. And the nice thing about this game is one of the features that they were boasting about was um, I I infinite storage space. So we'll never run out of that. Grab these sticks. And it's, it's, I think it's infinite and it stores them all. So it kind of, uh, juice box just picks them up for us. We'll need a saw to cut that. Okay. So you can't harvest everything right now. Okay, and I don't have to click multiple times. I can just click once and he'll actually hit it twice. Excellent. That saves a lot of clicking. Let's see, what do we have up here? Nope, go over here. Ooh, look at that guy. Okay, now I don't want to go up there. Uh, do, do, do. Quest. Tell me more about the quest. Mm. Why do you make some floors out of the sawgrass? Throw them blades in the survival station to build them. Oh, okay. I gotta go to the survival station to craft. Oh, what the heck are those? Little bird things? They look like kind of like little owls. Just pick up stuff on the way. Okay, that one took three hits for some reason. Oh, there's a survival station. Okay. Go, get all that. And let's head over to this thing. Okay. So we have B S S S S S S S five. All right, survival station, thatched wall, thatched stall floor. Okay, it will take ten, and we have twenty. So let's go ahead and build that. It takes three seconds. We can just build two of those, and it will give us twenty. Excellent. Okay, so now if we go to W. We can place floors. You have no floors to place. What? What? 
pretty sure I did. Uh, hold on. I thought I had floors. Oh, they're right there? Oh, do I have to pick them up? Okay, there we go. Yeah, you have to pick them up after you craft them. Nice build mode to put those down. This is the hammer icon on the bottom left of this visor's interface. I swear they change you have with every update. Yep, just open that up and pull down some flooring. Alright. Uh, so, W. I don't know how much flooring I'm supposed to put down. <laughs> uh, we'll just do like... There we go. Hey, uh, nice! Hey, I see some tree-like things on the distance. Oh, you could cut those down for wood. Let me use my analysis engine to get the good tool. <laughs> Your visor tracks the materials you need in the upper right corner. Now get to build this thing. Booyah! Time to make some locally sourced saw. Sweet. What do we got here? Cinematic dis er, schematic, not cinematic. Schematic discovered saw grass. Gra what the hell is that called? <laughs> okay, saw grass saw. Tier one saw, saw made of saw grass. This is the mediumest quality saw you've ever seen, but surely you chop down log trees and whistle roots. So we need uh, some more grass for that and sticks, but we already have sticks. All right, we even have pretty little flowers. So you, you guys definitely see the comparison people have been making to the Don't Starve series, which I have not experienced. Well, I didn't experience until we actually played Don't Starve Shipwreck. We only did like seven episodes on the channel because other games I wanted to cover came out. I might as well grab some of these sticks, just literally grab everything in sight. Look at that, that's like a, a hippo head with four ears on like a single elephant foot. Not entirely sure what's going on there, but I like it. I know that much. Okay, let's hit that down too. Go, I think we have plenty of grass, but you know, might as well gather some more. It'll never, it won't hurt. Or maybe it will, I don't know. Get it like a paper cup with grass. Okay, that should be plenty. So now if we open up Q, oh no, not Q. We have to go over to the survival station. I just stepped on something again. I feel bad. Build. What? Oh, look at that. Tool integrated. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that was really cool. Check out my saw. It's awesome. Hey, wait a second. Where'd it go? Whenever you need it, it'll be teleported right into your hand. Guess I was doodling during that meeting. Neat. Why don't you doodle a sawmill into existence? Then we'll need better stations to get a proper common device built anyway. Ah yes, a sawmill will let us harness the power of wood. Would it though? Would it? God damn. Now I'm a person who enjoys puns. I freaking love them. I use them way too often. And I often am berated for using puns too often. But this this might get a little... A little bit too much. Yes, it would. He, he, he. How can I tell if I have enough of the parts for when I'm out exploring? Slap the enormous track button next to the build when you're inside the survival station. That'll put components in your hut. Sweet. It's like a grocery list burned into my eyes. I'll do that before heading out. Okay. So what did we need? This one. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Wait a second. Okay, I wasn't paying attention or something. Uh, cute. It's milling time. Da -da. Okay, we need a sawmill. Oh no, it's right there. I keep forgetting to pick it up first. There we go. Schem schematic discovered a sawmill. So now if we go over to this right here, it'll tell us what we need for a sawmill. And track. The sawmill recipe. Oh, very cool. Now it's going to show right here. So we need 13 or 14 grass. Oops. I keep trying to WASD. And then 13 wood, it looks like. I think it's wood. Uh, we're going to have to venture out to get some more grass. I don't know what that is. But we do have the saw now. So we'll be able to cut down trees. Um, I don't think it'll be those little do those little things earlier that said we need a saw. But let's just try that. And uh, doot. Uh, how do we get our saw out? Uh, 
Uh, da da we will the Sama so hard. How do we get our saw out? One second. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, I think he was already using it. Okay. <laughs> so now we should be able to knock this down, right? Yeah, but it's not what we need. Okay, let's let's see what this stuff is that we need. Um, or do we have to go all the way back? Well, it's not all the way back. It's right there. Uh, let's go check out that recipe because I'm not sure what this is. Okay, what is this? Log, a round piece of wood harvested from the log tree plant. Okay. I've never seen anything like this. That's true, I've never seen anything like a log. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Let's go check that out. I haven't seen any trees yet. Dirt. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Are these guys nice? Hey, guys. Okay, here are some log trees. These are definitely what we want. Oh, <gasps> look at that guy. Now, I don't know if this world is randomly generated every time or if it's a set map design. I'm not sure. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Getting a decent amount of logs. Might as well grab some of this stuff. Need some more log trees. I see up here we have 50 out of 50. What is this blue? Because that's health. Is this maybe shield or is that just a, another representation of the health? I'm not entirely sure. Excuse me, fellas. I don't want to hurt them, but I want to see. Okay, it's a wampit. That's what they're called. Okay, don't hit the wampit. Uh, it looks like you've got everything you need, but harvesting trips are starting to stray pretty far from the ship. Yeah, I'm getting tired of walking all the way back to uh, build stuff. You forgot about the ship teleported, didn't you? You can teleport to the ship on the map. Give it a go. I'll teleport with you. Teleportation buddies. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Um, map. Did we just M? No, that's too easy. Uh, oh, E. Duh. 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 Okay. And teleport. Boom. Oh, man. That was pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know what these little robot dudes are. It's getting hard to see out there. Well, yeah, it's this thing called darkness. I'm going to need some light uh, so I don't fall in the horrible alien filled pit. Let me see. Boop, beep, or boop, boop, boop. Scanning for ship debris. Ho ho! One of the lamps from the ship landed somewhere nearby. I marked its probable area. It's on your map so you can find it. Hit the map icon in the bottom left corner of your visor to see where the light source is, then lug that meaty body of yours over to it. Okay. Now we gotta go look for that. Let's see, he put the approximate light sources that way. Okay. Let's head on over. Hopefully nothing bad and scary comes out at night like they did in Don't Starve. Because that was always moderately unnerving. Incredibly unnerving. I don't know, I didn't like the super scary night times. What's up, Wamp Wampets! Ah! Ah! Sorry, buddy. Did, he did I hit him accidentally? I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Uh, it looks like it's on a little island. I can't swim. Build some floors and make a bridge. Okay, W. W. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Nailed it. This thing is bright. Uh, what if I want to do more? What if I want to whip my saw out and chop in some more light trees? Your torch goes into a special slimy suit. It'll equip whenever it gets dark, so you don't need to worry about scary nighttime. <laughs> I was just talking about that. Best nightlight ever. Quest complete. Bridging the gap. Excellent. Alright, so we got this thing. So I guess we should head back and try and build uh, that sawmill? Dude. God, that's cool. That's so cool. Oh, man. Okay. So let's head over to this thing. The BS SSSS SS5 sawmill. Build. This work approach for circus saw will allow you to craft all kinds of wooden masterpieces. And whoa, look at that! It's a sawmill. So much, so many saw, so many saw things, so many wooden things. Whoa, so many things to build. Time to rev up the old sawhorse. All right, where did it go? It's in your suit. Use the build mode and hit the infinity symbol to access all the structures you've got stored in there. Then you can select the sawmill, put it anywhere else with some sturdy flooring. All right. Mm, w. What? Oh, infinity. Okay, there we go. Sawmill. I just put it right there. And back. Blah blam. Hey, juice box. I feel like we're being watched. You think? 
Hugo do Hugo Dooku is still out there. Undoubtedly. But he'll probably thinks we will he probably thinks we exploded, which should buy some prep time. I'd feel better with some armor both for dealing with Hugo and those stomping beasts. Why don't you start with a wooden chest plate? Take that one kidney of yours. Oh yeah, I did break one of them, I suppose. Oh, and keep your eyes peeled for sentient light. According to the Bureaupedia, the ten dram half goat half plant creatures live here. Alright. Well, that's probably it for this first episode of Crashlands, guys. Definitely leave a like if you are enjoying and want to see more on the channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.